what exactly is an if statement? So an if statement is a way to check if something is true or false. So that can be as simple as checking a Boolean value, which only shows true or false, or putting an expression or equation in there and seeing if that returns true or false, or even a method. If you have a function that would return a Boolean value, you can use that to check as well. So to show this, I can just go and say, let's add a value up here and we'll say bool is this true and at first we'll set that to false and we'll make it public so we can edit it in the editor and see this in real time so under update if is this true equal equal so we have to have two equal signs for a comparison to true then debug dot log this is true Otherwise, so else, this is not true. Let's copy this down here and save. And now we can test this in the editor. If we go back into Unity, grab our main camera and drag our if statement in here. And now if we press play, we'll see in our console that we are putting out every frame that this is not true. But if I switch that, now it's true. And you may see if statements written in about a thousand different ways, uh, because this right here, let's go ahead and just remove this. I want to keep that. So if this is true without curly braces, you can just do something like that, or even an inline like that. Uh, this is also redundant. And you can remove is true, and then if this is the same thing as uh, this before true statement, if we want it to be false, we can put a exclamation point before it, and that just means not. So there's a lot of different ways to write these, so you may see several different ways to do it. I prefer to have curly braces around my things, uh, just so I can easily see what it makes it more readable for me, so I can see that okay, this is what's happening here. And then you also have an else if. So we can say else, else is uh, else if another thing is happening. So it doesn't even have to be related to the first object. We could say public int value and have that equal to five to start with. Else if value is greater than four. And then we can put our debug.log in here. This is still true else this is false or i'll just put values above four that'll make, make make it make more sense value is above four but because we have this else here if this is true neither of these will be run if this is false and this is true this will not be run go back into here press play we can see the value is above four we have the checkbox this is true. The value is above four is not no longer happening. If I drop that, this is false because this is now below four. So here we're just using debug values so we can uh, see what's happening inside of the editor. But this is where you would put your logic. For example, if uh, health is less than zero, maybe we have to destroy that game object or play a death animation. If health is less than 30, maybe we need to do something specific when health is under 30. Maybe they're running away. Maybe they're scared. Also, if you are doing something in that realm, just a useful thing to know. So let's say you have a float value health. And it's equal to 100 for right now. And you have if, and you want to do a thing that says if health is less than zero, they're going to die. If health is less than 30, they're going to run away otherwise they're just going to fight you may be want, may want to say if health is less than 30 do this if health is less than zero do this but the issue with that is that top value is always going to be hit first so if we were to do it like this this value would never be hit because if health is uh, let's say less than or equal to zero if health is less than or equal to zero, it's also less than 30. So this value will always be run. So to get around that, you just have to swap these around. So it's actually going to be if health is less than or equal to zero. And 
if health is less than 30. So the, yeah, the reason here is if this is less than zero, it's going to be hit. But if it's not, it's going to run this value. So if it's 25, it's always going to be above zero. So this will always be executed when it's supposed to be executed. So the trick is to start at your lowest value and move your way up if you need to do something like this. And I think that about sums it up for if statements. Uh, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments. And if you like the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Just want to take a quick moment to shamelessly promote myself. I have a game coming out on Steam on November 23rd called Survive the Uprising. It's a silly game. It's a wave-based survival where the machines have come to life, and you can buy guns and upgrade equipment and things like that to fight off the waves until you can face up to the boss and defeat the level. Uh, if that's up your alley, please wishlist it, or if even if you just want to support the channel, I would really appreciate it.